Welcome, 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 welcome everybody. My phone's been a little slow. Give me a second. We should be live though. Welcome, welcome. Cancel all that. Don't do that right now. Leave that alone. <laughs> I don't know why it does that sometimes. Oh, it's probably because my PS5 is on. I should have turned it off for a while. It will be fine. Oh, alright, there we go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hello, hello, Foss here, and welcome. Welcome, welcome back to some more Grounded. We were going to be doing some Fob World Pioneer today. James is having a bit of a fuss with his internet right now. It's being a little bit of a, little bit of a pill. So he's not able to log in and stay connected to the internet very well at the moment. So we weren't able to do Far World yet. We should be doing it tomorrow after I get back from physical therapy. So today, I don't know if we'll get this done tonight because we're starting a little late for this. But we're going to attempt to, one, go kill another bombardier beetle. Because we're going to need a drying rack. So we can make dried food. And then, if we manage to get that in a decent amount of time done, we're going to attempt to go get us an acorn for the rest of the things we're missing, like the shovel to get the grubs, and to get the grubs to get the water container, to get the water container to bad more reasonable permanent water sources, and... Yeah! <laughs> um, but the problem with the acorn comes... Well, eight problems in the forms of legs. Um, one on the screen. Um, you see, it just got absolutely harder than me. Wow, by RNG in one of my favorite games. What? What's up? What happened? What happened, Farseer? What did the RNG gods do? Also, welcome, Seely. Hello, or not? How have you been? Good. We're back. This is survival week, going on the second week, because things got a little weird on the first week. This is survival week, and we've been doing some medieval dynasty, some grounded, far world pioneer with jams. A very special game, hopefully, to come up very, very, very soon. A returning special game. Um, a very much returning special game. Uh... I forgot what the other survival game I'm doing is. I'm kind of going blank right now. Well, either way. We're probably going to focus mostly on um, Medieval Dynasty and Grounded this week. I'll probably throw in some flavor here and there with some other survivals I might have or be able to play. Otherwise, we're going to mostly stick to these. And just like last time. There might be one a random episode of Quake here and there just to kind of fill in that story gap that we're working on for my training arc. For Ardnot's training arc as he returns to his slayer strength. Slowly but surely. While uncovering the secret of an alternate reality that led to a DLC that I'm pretty sure exists today for a certain Eternal game. Which is why we're playing Quake. The other me. Hashtag. So, Risk of Rain or just Risk? I played Risk. Oh, you played Risk, like the game of Risk. I doubt she played Risk of Rain. And then again, it could be Risk of Rain. It does screw you in RNG as well, sometimes. But you can kind of mitigate that in Risk of Rain if you're really good. And, it, and if you play it a lot. I assume real risk. <laughs> also, if you play real risk, you need to tell me, Fosse. Yeah, I play risk. I love risk. Clue's a good game, too, but that's a different type of board game. It's 
a game about being trickery. Also, today, but yeah, like I said, back to our original goal real quick for this game. For the second. Well, well. While we find out the risks that Fosse has taken inside the game of Risk. <laughs> um. There is a... You know, the acorn's pretty simple. All we gotta do, get the bombardier, get a drying rack, get some dry food. That's easy. Heading towards the tree for the acorn. Less easy. The game risk. Ah, that's what I figured. Regular risk. Like, actual risk. <laughs> that's cool. Risk is a good game. Not many people play it because not, not only is... Well, some people say, oh, it's a simple looking game. It's not. <laughs> it... It can be, I guess, from a standpoint of just mechanics. But as far as what you can do with those mechanics and have the strategy actually involved in Risk... Plus RNG a little bit. To be fair, there is some RNG in some things too. Especially with the dice rolling. Especially the ones that have the dice roll mechanic. Some don't do that. Some roll less dice. Some roll more more heavy-handed dice. More based on if the unit's large enough, it can kind of just flatline a unit anyways. Even if it loses some casualties. It depends on the rules. They're slightly different versions of Risk. But, but the dice can screw you in the classic version. Pretty hard, to be fair. Sometimes. But... Yeah, it can happen. That's Kava Fossey. I see how it feels on the same again. <laughs> Maybe it feels somewhat remorseful. <laughs> Hello. I need some, uh, Pepsi, please. Parker and I'm gonna be going out around 10, 10 30 in there. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I guess be careful. <laughs> uh, Pepsi, please. Let's see, we had no, we had the no blitz rule. Ah, I see. So you had more classic rules. So yeah, and now say in that version, there's a bit of luck involved because the dice can go one, 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 one. Especially if you're defending, and you're like, please stop. <laughs> it's like me and magic sometimes. Magic the Gathering. Sometimes it's like, do you not? I, it goes. I don't understand what the word land or mana means. What do you mean you need mana to cast things? What is this? Because <laughs> RNG decides, you know, I have like almost half the deck is of mana to cast, which is a resource in magic, to cast creatures and spells and things like that. Game's like, what do you mean 50% of your deck is resources? We're just going to give you everything else but that. Happens a lot. I thought I could take 10 with a 26. And I never cursed out my screen so much. Yeah, I mean, 10. Okay, that does sound reasonably in a normal scenario in most games, except for Risk. <laughs> that sounds safe, right? Now, if you had Blitz, that would have been completely safe. However... In classic, how is it? In classic risk, because multiple units roll at the same time, if all your units get a crap roll, and they're, you're only working with a d6, yeah, there is a slight chance that, let's say it's a 3v3. Let's say the game's rules are, Three units, like both units have, you have, he, you had 26, he has 10, but both of you have to constantly put three units forward on the front line. This is just an example. All three units roll their own D6 separately for their attack. If all three of the defender roll a one, all three of those units are dead. If the others did not roll ones as well on the attacker. That means even though you're a 26, you just lost three whole units, putting you down to 23 already, and he lost none. <laughs> so, 
If the RNG gods decide to really be cruel, you might have this happen, especially on the digital versions of Risk. Here's an, even though I sound like an old man about to say this, if you want to play real Risk, play an actual board game of Risk and get real dice. Because digital dice are terrible, just like I've learned with Magic versus shuffling a real deck. Magic doesn't know what shuffling is in the programming. Whatever the code or whoever coder wrote the script for the shuffling RNG percentage in Magic the Gathering or the dice throwing in Risk doesn't understand percentages. <laughs> because sometimes the game will just, and it could be in your favor too. It'll do it in both ways for both games. Sometimes it'll be super kind and you roll nothing but sixes and the AI just gets dropped the whole game. It's weird. Callings and sometimes chaining can bone you as well in card game, I think. It can. But chaining is a combo, though. That's the thing, though. Chaining is something that can happen that is a legal thing that that's a strategy that causes you to lose or win. But when the game itself, under just normal draw, like every per turn you draw one card like most games, when the game itself for eight turns straight in a deck that's 50-50, um, pulled only from one side of the deck. Statistically, this is actually impossible out of eight. I and mean, if you want to be even crazier, I've had it happen 12, 13 times in a row. It gets pretty silly sometimes. But you think about there are 60 cards in a deck. It happens for 13 turns straight. 30 and 30. 50-50. 30, 30 cards are resources. 30 cards are castable cards that require those resources. So, in a real-life scenario, unless you are terrible at shuffling, you're going to get, at worst, sometimes a repeat of cards worth of at least three to four turns straight. But anything above that starts to be a missed shuffle kind of probably issue that happened during shuffling. This is the same thing when playing, I'm not going to allude too much to this, but playing poker or anything like that. Or solitaire, well, solitaire when you're playing against yourself, or uh, Texas Hold'em, or many other things. I don't want to say too many card games. I don't to buy what uh, card games I play, but like I said, when it comes to card-based stuff, physical is better. Board games are kind of the same way because dice seems to have the same problem in the digital realm, because the digital dice is susceptible to the math skills of whoever the programmer was. So. Either way. Uh, I think I just hit continue, right? Only friends, would you like to require a password? Yes. But. Normal password, as always. This one is the logout save. Show backups. Whoa, those are my old ones. That's when I was first tried to play this game. I was playing Willow, it looks like. Anyways, this is the one we want. I'll do the... They're the same, I think. I'll do the logout save. Lava lamps are are not are anomalous after all. What? <laughs> you know what are not? If you want true random probability, just code it based on the movements of a lava lamp or something. That's a. That's probably a good idea. That is very strange of an answer, but my brain kind of goes. You know. Wow, you choose your character every my time. Bring in spy tiny Spidey. Um, I wasn't fighting the AI in that game. I got oh yeah, no, it's always real players at risk. I don't think you can fight the AI in risk, or at least not in the ones I played. Most of them were all multiplayer required. Like you play on these like random like lobbies. Let's 
So. Huh? All right. Back into the world of the tinies. <laughs> All right. I've got to remember what I was doing. First order of business. Stab this weevil. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's, uh, that's plenty of food. Let's... We need to head back down here. The we the, ex the bombardier beetle is, like, here somewhere. Is it pretty good daytime? It is. So let's go on a journey! We should get some water while we're out. There should be some in any of these, right? Yeah, maybe I should go get water first. I don't see any water. Maybe the water stays kind of down. So it's usually around this area. Uh, droplets? Um, this is kind of why I'm getting worried about the water problem. There's some on these. It's very strange. It's the first time I've seen it this barren out here. Uh oh. We might be in trouble. What about this head? I may have to drink dirty water. It may be my only option. You're a little thirsty. Oh, no, wait. I see salvation. We do need to cook some food before we go. Hold on. Let's cook these three fellows. Die! Oh, no, there's another one. Sir, I forgot how to throw my spear. It's R1. It's different in all of these games. Oh, get punched. Oh, damn it. Get back here, Ant! Oh, I dropped water. How dare you drop water and waste water. That was a juice drop. How? How? How, 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 how do the ants always avoid my spear? Ah, uh, got him. That's an ant head. We don't need an ant head. All right, I gotta make sure I don't get too far away. Back this way. So sadly, that didn't give us what we needed. We still need the mandibles and stuff like that. There's another one. Hey. Hey! Hey! That's not your food, sir. Oh. Alright, well. Damn it, he took some of my food. Well, we already have one, so that's okay. 
We're gonna need a new spear soon. Can we repair it? Is the question. Perfect, we don't need to, cool, we can just repair stuff, as long as we have pebbles. Spear repaired, alright, we've got food, we need to make this journey before it becomes nighttime. Well, I've got the food and the water to do so. I believe there, uh, there is somewhere that uses a room full of lava lamps and cameras to give random input to systems, I saw it a few weeks back in a bit. Funny how using uh, arithmetic and algorithms get randomness. Kind of con uh, con contradictory. Can't talk today. Unless you go into imaginary and slash factors, I think. I say this yet, I'm not sure. The immortal snail is coming for you or not. No, I will, I will deal with the snail. First, we must deal with the bombardier and get some more uh, stuff for our drying rack. Because then we can... Uh, go a lot further away away because we need to go to the tree and get an acorn we're not going to fully go to the tree tonight and do the story objective but we are going to get an acorn and but that still means contending with eight problems all connected to one body Bombardier Beetle, what's that sound? What is... Look at that. It's so uh, what is my... What is the button to peek again? I don't remember what the peek button is. Shoot. What is the peek button? I... I don't remember what the peek button is. There we go. Peek. Infected larva. Let me think a little bit. Oh wait, hey, put the sound remote in here, please. For later. Thank you. So slashing and fresh, chopping is resistance, all that. Interesting. So there's an infected larva down there. I'm not going to worry about that. Where is that on the map? I never ended up going down there last time. So that's... This thing. It's connected to whatever this is. It's in this area right here. We're going to set a waypoint though. So that way I can see where I'm going. There we go. We're going to have to be careful just trudging across the open like this. But, yeah. I feel like it's time to take more risks. I fell. Speaking of risks. Oh, God. That was unnecessary going in there. Let's go. <laughs> As long as we don't see any T-Rex movement through the grass, we'll be okay. Like if we see like grass moving like trees shifting to the side. If we see that, we avoid that direction and we go around. Hopefully. Oh, the stink bug. I also need to kill one of those at some point. I don't know what that gives me. I'm not sure how strong they are though. They're also poison. So... The bombardier is just acid and damages armor and stuff like that. Oh my, it's okay. Uh, down there is the grubs. That's where we want the grub to get the grubs from. I will have to find this area again. Let me look see what this is, it looks like in the back. So that's next to this branch. So always go to the other side of the branch for the grubs. 
I'll put markers down and stuff eventually and marks the area specifically. Um, the mites are trying to come and get us. We've got to sneak around. Oh, that's a lot of mites. Oh, crap. They have seen me! Spotted by, by the, the lawn goblo. The lawn gobbos. There's also grubs there, too. So anywhere around the logs. Hey! You bitch. Grab a little bit of sap. We don't have much because we bossy. used it. Yep, yep. Don't want to fight them right now. So now I need to mark. Damn freaking mites. Mites. Things are psychos, man. Okay. So. I need the mark. It's somewhere right here, I think. Hopefully they respawn pretty reasonably. Since we already killed it. Somewhere out this way. I know I remember going around this thing. And then moving out towards the corner of the house. You over there, right? Oh, there's not another one, though. Hmm. Okay, well, that's slightly a problem if there's not another one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, alright, so the mites are here. just gonna rack up over here, so we might have to go with. Might have, we, we might, might. We might have to go with meat that can expire, just have to be fast. Oh. I don't like that that ant is dead. Oh, what? Wait, that's what we want. Why are there s- Oh, oh. I don't like that there's so many dead bugs out here. Oh, what? Oh! That area is- Poison? Something's poisoning that area. Oh, that explains that. Well, we can't get in that area then. Explains all the dead bugs. Must be a pesticide being let out over there. I see kind of what it might look like a cloud over there doing it. Huh, okay. Shit. So, where are we gonna get another bombardier beetle? to disturb them. Look at that. They're coming at me anyway. They're coming right for me. Yeah, a trophy. Obtain your first mutation. I got mutated? Javelinier. Okay. Oh, is that because I've been doing things with a javelin? So I myself am not normal anymore. Even other than I've been shrunk. Alright, we need to get back. Shit. Too risky to stay out any further. Get back. Shoot! I need another bombardier beetle to make dry dry food, but you know what? Frick it. We're gonna take the chance. I promised to try to go for. Hold on. Well, might as well do one exciting thing while we're out here. Brain's going like. That seems like a great idea, right? Where'd he go? 
Sir, you're extremely massive and you're probably gonna kill me, but we're gonna do this. I mean, yeah, that's what I kind of figured. I knew that was gonna be the biggest problem. Yeah, he's just toxic. I'm gonna die to the toxic. Well, goodbye, me. Alright, I'm gonna give up and reload. I just wanted to see what would... So I need some sort of gas. Do I have a mask? Didn't I unlock some sort of mask? Let's go... Let's reload. Let's equip. Multiplayer. Host online. Continue. I'll do no. We don't need a password. Uh, yeah, right there. You tip king! Oh, uh, now, why kill the ants when you can join them and have an ant princess as your consort? That, uh, well... Technically, technically I could do that, but, you know, I need their armor as well. I'm, there is some very much Monster Hunter way of thinking in this game. I have to wear their people in order for them to accept me as one of their own. <laughs> My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. It's a company called Cloudflare, if you're interested in reading more. Personally, I think it's just the excuse to have an amazing looking wall of lava lamps. That would be kind of a hilarious excuse. It probably hasn't. Uh, to be fair, it probably has some, some, so I would imagine some truth to it, and depending on how you do it, but it still is a good excuse for a wall of lava lamps. Either way. Alright, well, in rage, I'm going to kill this ant. This is because I'm mad. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. What the hell? The, the ants and the mites have made an alliance. I have another mutation. Because I did something different. And so at this time, I got a different mutation. Ant mutation. I need to look at this. What are we getting? That's not what I want. The frick? Javelinier. Okay. Range is your greatest ally as you reach or throw from afar. Spears deal additional damage when thrown. And you're able to counter poke enemy attack. Wait, counter poke enemy attacks to reflect a portion of the damage. Well, that's going to help me in a certain scenario coming up. Uh, mastery bonus. Charge attacks with spears deal additional damage. Ooh. Apply that. I'm going to mutate. What is this? Antilator. The Antinihilator. The ants have become a familiar threat, and you begin to know your enemy inside and out. Death and devastation greet all ants that face you. Damage to ants increased. We are psycho. We are. We are. Uh oh, we're in night mode. We need to get. We need to get our psycho self home. Well, death is guaranteed. Oh my god, I'm getting caught in it. Woo, we made it. Sleep the morning. The Antonator, exactly. We are the Antonator. And you have not missed them yet, Tam King. We are about to head that way. I don't think we're going to be able to get any more. Oh, one of our weevil, weevil roasts spoiled. Oh, hi. Oh, well, that ant is angry. Sir, sure, chill. It's not that serious. Exactly. Just pretend it's real food. We've got to go get water. So morning time is when you want to get water. You waste too much time if you don't get it during the morning. Nice and clean. All right, we are full. All right, die, ant. The ants will know. I feel it. I need food! 
Oh, he's stupid. Stupid little dude. Weevils are easier anyways. Oh, righty then. That's spoiled. We're just gonna dump that in the pile. Kinda like in, um... Medieval Dynasty. So we're gonna have to get new food to cook because we spoiled it. I'll put it in here for now just because it's easier to store it than throw it on the ground at the moment, but only for the moment. That way we keep some, some uh, what's it called? Uh, the... Keep part of it on me. Yeah, so many mushrooms. We need to eat some of these. Uh, rocks. Oh yeah, the ant parts that I have on me. There doesn't seem to be a weight in this game, like in, um... Medieval Dynasty. So some of these things we can keep on ourselves. I need to make another basket is what we need to do. Let's do that now. Let's find out how to make another basket. I've got a craft. We need to make a basket. I gotta remember where that is. Storage basket. We'll just put them kind of near each other for now just to make it a little easier convenience. Oopsies. This is going to be for insect parts. In order for me to keep storage of my insect stuff that we need. To make it the workbench. That'll keep things a little bit more organized. I'll also put the extra mushrooms in here since we have so many of them. Actually no, we can put the, the fuzz in here and just keep the mushrooms on us as emergency food. Good. Starting to have some real organization in this camp now. Alright, we're good now. I'll go check one more time to see if this bombardier spawns. If it does not spawn regularly, then we have to head to the tree without it. So. To here. And while we're on our way there, if we see any weevils, we need to kill them and get some food. Like that guy. What's up, bro? I think we can make a gas mask out of the weevils, too, so we should look into that. Well, I accidentally stabbed the answer. You're gonna die, too. Two for the price of one. Who wants it? Ah, oh, wow, that freaked me out, actually. <laughs> Sorry, you get your butt back here. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, run away. It's not like they don't know to fear me. Hey! Get away from my stuff. Yeah, I harvested him in front of you. I took your friend's parts. Get back off. What if I do this? No, don't you run away with my spear in your face. <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck you. Fucking gnats. It wasn't enough to kill it. <laughs> I'm just becoming an insane, like, bug killer now. <laughs> I'm gonna be the, like, bane of the bug universe. The spiders will go after me just because I've become the biggest champion in the land. I'll hear of this creature that has been ruining the food train. <laughs> and they'll come for me just for that. <laughs> 
Anyways, back to the objective. Got a little sidetracked there. <laughs> Oh, that's a distinct bug. It freaked me out. We're never gonna be short on might fuzz at this, this rate, though. I just wish there was acorn pieces out somewhere else. But it makes sense, there is no tree to produce them out here. Okay, so no, they don't come back. So what if it just takes a certain amount of days, or if it's... Oh, goodness. Well, I guess we'll stock up on more Micahs since we're here and we're getting randomly jumped. Look at these crazy little lunatics. They're literally the Gabas of the Lawn universe. Great things, but... Well, that sucks. Could he be this way? I don't know how far they wander outside of where you see them. Darn it. Darn it, okay. Alright then, there's no point in doing that. Let's head over to... Back to the house. Check on the... If there is a gas mask, then we need to do that. So we can beat the... The what's it called as well. Or we'll see what it requires while we go to the truck. The trunk of the tree, which is... Here, I think? Or here, somewhere. I think it's here. So... Alrighty then, um... Trying to think of something else. But yeah, alright, let's go back up here. Back home room. I know where, where two are, are for sure. Where, so where, uh, where are they? I know I killed the one that was beside this bucket. And now I know what this is. It's a paint bucket. Because I couldn't remember what it was last time, and I was kind of tired that night. So, I killed the one by the paint bucket. Come and get it. Yeah, we can't deal with him until we're able to use that gas mask. Uh oh. You trying to go for me right now? He gave up on me. I think I got a little too close to him. So, note to self. Stink bugs are aggressive, apparently. Didn't know that. Oh, weevil? I need food. Weevil, 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 weevil. go perfect food for tomorrow I'm also gonna see what it takes to build a, um, a campfire so if we need one while we're heading out no nope, you can't take my food right at him down get out of there oh he's stuck he's dead I also think I can't get mandibles from regular worker ants. I think I need the warrior ants to get the mandibles. Called Solaris Showdown as a lo as a loader king mech and a new hero. What? By the way, Mech Warrior 5 just added a new DLC with a Mech Gladiator style game mode. Oh, really? That's cool. That's cool. There's also the new Mech Warrior 5 game coming, like a whole new game. That's completely story based. 
Uh, like the older mech warriors used to be. Uh, let him run. Like the older war uh, mech warriors used to be. Um, it's called Mech Warrior Five Clans. I'm actually quite excited about it because it looks really good. It looks like they improved a lot of the AI. You can now switch between the AI and your main character, just like in the other one, but a lot more like smoothly now. Like it's actually just like it's like a streamlined. It's only like one button. It's so much better. But I can't wait to. Now you still want. I still think mercenaries is better for role play. Like if you want to just create a random mercenary yes, unit, then uh, I don't want clear. Way. Get rid of the waypoint. There we go. Um, we should eat to heal. So let's go ahead and light this up. Go ahead and cook these up and stand there. It's not gonna be watching it. Don't run off this time. I think it was co-op too. Yeah, it's definitely co-op as well. It looks amazing. I'm quite excited about it actually. Because I is I like mercenaries for the role play value, but I think I really do I really have missed a proper story driven mech warrior. And this one looks really cool. It's, it reminds me very much of playing kinda like a what 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 is that game? Like kinda like playing um uh, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but Mech Warrior. And it looks really cool. So let me see what it takes to craft a campfire before we go. Because we can't do the jerky rack. We need. We only have two out of the five bombardier parts. Let me see where he says. Do you know where the milk carton is? I did. I find the milk carton. Don't think I did. Hold on. Let me take a quick gander around. Cause some of them you can kind of see. Nope. I don't remember where it is, but off heart. I could probably find it if you tell me towards house or something like that. Because isn't it going to be one of... Some of them are really big items. Like, that's the paint can, right? So... The milk card is probably pretty big, so it must be one of the auxiliary items. I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe that? I actually don't remember when it releases, sadly. I'll have to look it up again. I think it's not too far off, actually, but... Keep forgetting it's right. Playing this and playing like medieval dynasty always gets me kind of confused. Okay. Let me see. Upper right along the floor, flower bed wall. Oh, we have to go up there anyways. Well, that's kind of where we got to go either way. So I guess we might as well do this journey no matter what then. Because the tree is... Hold on, let me point at the tree. Tree. That way. So, yeah. So, we gotta go that way anyways. Yeah. Because we gotta go along all these areas over here. I forget what this is. It's like a flooded part of the lawn, but it's basically a swamp, if I remember correctly. There's one of those toad toys over here. Well, we gotta go that way anyways, and I have to see if there's acorns up here, so... Let's do that. Make a save, and... Hope for the best. Over right. Let's move the on. 
All right, chat. This is gonna be one of those. Oh, might as well take a drink. The the juice cup is provided. I forget this. Just do this once a day. Maybe I should just come over here to get drinks then. Okay, so there's more grubs in this area. Hi, ladybug. Freaking seconds leading in this direction. Ten seconds! Ten seconds in this direction. Ten seconds. Ten freaking seconds in this direction. Let's see if we can avoid him. Her. You scared the hell out of me, Scanner. There's a base somewhere? This is the anthill. Nope, it's not that way. It's over here somewhere. We're near danger, of course. I see you. Oh, 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 no. Uh, that way. Don't get caught. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Excuse me, boys. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Hey, acorns. I need a, a hammer. Where the hell did he go? Or she, where'd she go? I assume she'll avoid the anthill area as much as possible. Because then she'll have to fight more than one target. Woo! Woo! Let's go! Give me your acorn! <laughs> Give me all of that! Okay. This is our first objective. I don't want to do too much in this area yet. We're... This is kind of what we came for, to be fair. Is there another one over here? I'm taking heavy risks right now. But I want to get enough acorns to get enough. Oh, oh fuck off. The scanner scares me more than anything. Not in there! We're not going! No! No, no, no. We're just gonna harvest this out here and pretend that didn't exist. Also, I should have said this already. Arachnid warning, everyone. There's a lot of them. We're just kind of stealing her acorns right now. Not gonna question it. We cannot be here at dark. I'm pretty sure that's when she leaves that little hobble down there. Because that's a different type of spider than we saw at the other side. I want to know if it, oh. I don't know where this lab is, but it's so risky to keep being in here. Because this is very heavy spider territory. Most of them are like tree spiders, basically, essentially. But... I gotta go back by the dangerous entrance. Okay, so do not go over the log, go this way. What's up, Ant? How you doing, little Ant? I'm doing good, good. Okay. I need to mark home for the moment. We've, we've succeeded for, on step one of tonight already. Let's go back for now, before I risk too much. That scared me! Scared me, scared me, scared me! Really scared me a lot. We are, next goal is to find a bombardier beetle at one of the locations that, um, uh, that, uh, Chronic Gaming has, uh, told us about for the bombardiers. Holy shit. Freaking scary stuff, man. You can always play in arachnophobia mode and fight off terrifying jelly beans. No, no, that's not as exciting. Plus, I like spiders even though I hate them. It's a very weird relationship. It's like me and xenomorphs when I was a kid. 
But spiders are real. Xenomorphs aren't. <laughs> Whew, but we're good. Alright, is it still daytime enough? Yeah, let's go, uh... Let's bring Spear out and let's go analyze the acorns and stuff. Let's get some analyzation going. We need to unlock new tech. Have a peek inside! No, Jam King, no. Oh, don't. Oh, that ant was very weary of me. The ants are very weary of me now. Wait till I actually have killed a spider successfully. Then you should be really terrified of me. Like on top. Raw science! Smoothie station! Yay! Soothing syrup. <laughs> Ooh, garden! Ooh, acorn fence. Don't know what the spinning wheel does. I'll have to see. Sap catcher! Ooh! Got some good stuff now. The acorn was MVP. I kind of figured it would be. So, that's an acorn bit, which we didn't get much of this, to be fair. Boost juice is all that gives us. So well, that's fine. We don't need a lot of that right now. Raw science. I don't know which one's needed. This looks more like... Oh, wait. These are the same. Do that. Ooh, acorn gear. Okay, that might make us able to fight at least the normal spider. The grinder! Yes! We did it, chat. We also have a sign frame to put spiders and stuff in, apparently. Or put the sign of a spider? I guess no. That's probably so I can now mark locations, I bet. Spider territory. Warning. We now have a storage chest, which is much bigger. Yes. Very good. Very And a water container. Beautiful. Okay, let's start making some stuff. So, step two for now is craft our new stuff. We might have to make journeys back and forth into the spider den. Which is why I think what we should do first is make armor. Just in case it's we have an emergency and we have to try to fight one off. If we can avoid the, uh, the one inside the tree, I think we're okay. If we have an acorn armor. I was going to run ant armor, but I bet you acorn armor will be tougher. Slower, but tougher. Alright. Have you had a wolf spider come waltzing through your camp yet? Yeah, I know there is one. Yeah, not yet he hasn't. Not yet. I call him the king. Because <laughs> he's very scary and I don't want to deal with that dude. He's going to come through here at some point. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised we've ha gotten lucky. I think I'm getting lucky because I'm sleeping during the night and skipping the night to try to avoid him being able to pass through my area. So what I'm hoping it's doing is it's auto-generating him around me in other areas that he's skipping my zone because I'm doing that. I hope. <laughs> this may not last forever. <laughs> At some point, I expect ter terror, screaming, and me running. Good thing I kept that spoiled meat. Smoothie station. This is what I really need along with... I need that grinder. Grinder and armor seems to be first for me. I need a flower petal. Are you kidding? For a grinder. You're making this really complicated to make a grinder game. <laughs> Alright, so we can't make that yet. So, we should work on the other stuff. So what does this do? Can't make that either. We can make the shovel though. Well, actually, maybe. Because we might get clay on next. So. So I can make threads out of that. I don't know what that means. Maybe I need this to make a certain material for the armor that I got, I'm assuming. Water container would be amazing. Also, because this hollowed out acorn can store up to six drops of liquid. 
How do I put it in it? Is the question. Either way, okay. We got a new sign frame. A mountable frame made of acorn pieces that can house all sorts of art and signage. Useful for posting information in the yard uh, or letting your inner designer shine. So yeah, marking areas. Clover table, okay. Juice drop, acorn tops. Also, now that we know the ant hill is over there, we can get a. Uh, we could get if we're, we're if we get good armor, we can also get the mandibles from the ants and get ant armor as well. Because I do think ant armor will be a good medium armor to keep from weighing me down. So there it is, shovel. So I want to go ahead and make this now. Because we need that to get the grubs. Mm, and now, yeah. Now it's about making the armor. Oh, gas mask. What do I need for the gas mask? Well, I need... I need stink bug parts to make the gas mask. So I have to at least kill one somehow safely. I, I think what I'm going to have to do is have a bunch of spears to throw at it in order to do that, then. I would have to kill it from range. And then this would get us into the area with the hazardous haze. But we'll worry about that another time. Medium armor. Tenderfoot offense. That's pretty good. Can I see what that is? I can't. I have to have it quick to see what it is. Um, well, we need to go get some grubs. Oh, 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 speaking of freaking nighttime. Sleep in the morning. Just be aware that if you wear a full set of acorn armor, it has a set bonus that makes enemies see you as a threat and will attack from a bigger distance. Ooh. Okay, good to know. So maybe we don't want to do that. I'm doing a wellness check of the surroundings, making sure I don't see big movement. Okay, so so far, our, our version of the T-Rex has not come calling yet. Yet. Oh yeah, juice box. Does the juice box always give me juice every day? The answer is no, but there is XP up there, science. How did I, how did I get up there? Maybe? Hmm. I could probably build scaffolding to get up there. Alright, well we're looking for water, so enough of that. We should eat our food before it goes bad. Okay. This one's gonna have to come down to me. So, first let's secure another piece of meat. You back? Okay. Yeah, secure another piece of meat. We're good there. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked, Chad. This game distracts me, man. I love this game, but it distracts me. 
Boost juice, soothing syrup. Okay. So my next thing is I need to go get grubs. Do I have the what's it called assigned to a task bar? Okay. Let's go get some grubs. So I, the easiest place to find grubs is here. At least near me, anyways. Spinning wheels give one-to-one -one conversion to rope rather than three-to-one in your crafting. The water catcher can be set up under that juice carton straw and will collect the drops for you. Oh, okay, good. Also, put them under any place you might know where drops are coming from, I bet. Oh, like that, okay. But the juice container is the more guaranteed one, gotcha. That makes sense. And the spinning wheels for making making rope and accessories like that easier. Gotcha. I do need that. That does get annoying. Alright, so... I forgot we're tiny! Right, we're gonna have to fight the lava! That's one. I forget we need to fight the lava. Get out of the ground, sir! Oh, that was a larva, not a grub. I'm an idiot. Alright, sir, you get out of the ground. Oh, yeah. That's not good. I should change those around. Oh, they'd go back in the ground, but that's fine. Because that allows me to see... Get rid of the dangerous ones. Okay. Grub hide. Grub hide, grub hide and grub sludge. That sounds pretty big. I wonder if you can tell by the sound if they're a larva or a grub. That was not a grub. These things actually do a lot of damage. We need to, we might have to go back. Oh, we got the acid gland. Oh, that comes from them. Well, I, I'm not going to heal. My armor's also a little bit busted, so let's go. to take another hit from a larva. Oh, wrong thing. Alright, so at this station, let's analyze the stuff from the, um... From the larva. So, larva blade, we can get a sword? Ooh, I like that. Stuff larva, liquid rage. Okay. Liquid rage. <laughs> Acid gland. Bug rubber. Okay. Astonishing acid. We're almost leveled up. Oh, a raw grub meat. Okay. Wow, well, we got grub meat. Stuffed grub. Oh, well, like a burrito, but what a grub. Ew. Level up! 
Now we got a pebble dagger and gill tube. That's probably to help me breathe underwater. Interesting. Uh, we're out of charges at this one. Let's mark the other one. Grab the sap on the way by. Just make sure we have a little bit. We can technically get almost an infinite amount of this now, too. I hear that stinky bug. Don't have enough spears to kill you right now, though. So if we're going to kill him, we're going to need multiple, like, throwing spears. We're going to need to be able to have to throw them at him to kill him. Because we can only do a couple stabs, then back off stay out of the way when he starts to do his explosion and start yeeting spears at him then grab him out of him and do it again can't do that with the spider the spiders are going to be just raw just we're going to have to fight them straight up because they're going to be too fast to do stuff like that too so they're just going to get free hits on me trying to get the spears back All right, grub sludge. Ah, uh, no, so no recipes from that one. Okay, but we got some science. Grub hide. No recipes because we fi figured out all the other recipes, I think. But that's raw science. It's always good to analyze things you don't haven't analyzed. Cool. Alright, let's deposit stuff I don't need right now. So bug stuff's going in here. Frickin' gnat. Let's cook the meat we have. I want we'll do grub meat, gnat meat. That. Oh, I should have done that other one. Oh, I'll cook them all and just eat them. I need to get the health back anyways. Okay, back to what I was doing. Uh, grub hide. There. Why is raw nat meat in it? That's the wrong one. I must have ate raw nat meat at one point by accident. Nat roast. Oh, the grub healed us amazingly. I'll hold on to the gnat for now. Let's cook the other one. Because it's going to go bad. Okay, so. Let's get that water container up and running first then. Since. We don't want to go full acorn armor, right? So let me. First I want to try to see how do we make this. I want to make this now. Oh, it's going to take all my grub hides for that though. That's not as important. We don't want to do that. Hold on. Shit. That's kind of annoying. A handcrafted sludge of sap and a carefully milked acid glands that hardens into a makeshift rubber material. Oh, it's literally bug rubber. It's just rubber <laughs> made out of bug stuff. Canteen. A pouch made from grub hide 
that can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. Ah. So we can also gather water and put it into our container. So we should have two. So let's do that because that's more important to us. I know that we made all, that's the rope efficiency isn't good there, but we'll fix that next. We'll fix that in a minute. That's not what I wanted. The canteen. Canteen crafted. Um. So now we would have to get more grubs. Liquid rage is spider fangs. Yikes. Red ant mandibles and larva spikes. Okay. Larva mount, grub mount, new resources, <clears throat> which is the acid glands and all those, yep. Yeah. Peblet dagger, for harvesting aquaflora or for defending oneself against underwater fauna, oh god. Uh-huh, that tells me a lot about the underwater stuff. You need lily pad wax from this. I think we can only get that from the lake. Or the... I say lake. It's a lake to us. It's just a, uh... A koi fish pond, basically. Alright, so we'll need to go there for that. Kill tube, also new lily pad. Eelgrass strand as well, yeah. Oh, and silk, yep. So spiders are fixed to become a necessity, which is not gonna be fun. Very soon! <laughs> but I'm gonna give them their own episode when we have to deal with them a bunch. <laughs> that way people know and are warned of what's coming. <laughs> know what to call it to embrace my inner Jane and Joan J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> J. 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 <laughs> the J. J. Alright, I'm getting distracted. We need to make stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking Water container is probably the most important thing first. We need more rope. Actually, no. Spinning is most important because that's gonna... Oh, but we need clay. Where do I get clay from? Maybe over here and there where that water is? Let me go over there and check that. Oh, yeah. Canteen. Um... Does that need to be equipped or something? Put it here for now. I so. Let's see. Yeah, so we can take water. Okay, I see. That's actually pretty cool. So this one. Can we jump up high enough to do it, though? This one had to come down. Oh, did it go in the freaking? These are above the dirty water. We can't do these. Let's go over here. Scoop. Now, of course, that's unnecessary, me putting it in there first, but I want to... What I'm trying to do is get ahead by one day. He freaked me out. I'm 
here we go. Alright, it's full, right? I'm gonna drink this next one if it's, if it's full. So, you. Canteen full, okay. So we'll just drink that one straight up, okay. So now to my next question. To find out where Clay is. Oh, also, we need to repair our armor. Before it goes bad. Because our slippers would make us faster about the break. Ooh, I need an aphid. Okay, hold on. I saw one. Where'd it go? So we need an aphid to repair. Oh, I saw someone there. Okay. Boom. What do you need to repair? Boom. You? I need my fuzz and the ant parts. What if I'm standing near my barrels? I'm pretty sure if you're standing near an item, it still does it. Make sure my armor is back to full. It does. That's cool. I like that you can just stand near your storage stuff and it works. Makes things way more convenient. So if you're not, you don't happen to be carrying it on you, it's a lot easier. Which we need to put these in there. Then the other one. Let me take any bug stuff out of this. I'll take the bug and armor stuff out of this. take slime mold out for now. Actually, no, I can take that and put it in the other one. Okay. That allows me to store you in here. Store another set of these. me fill these up mm, I think that's everything oh sap now we can put the acorns in there I'll put them in their own thing over here Put it at the back, very bottom right. Grub stuff is there. Armor, I'll put it at the top right for now. We're gonna need a chest for just personal amenities that are like armor and stuff, so that way when James joins up as well, he can just get it, go in that chest and get some equipment. And eventually I can take the fuzz out of the other one, the mite fuzz. Because what I could do is move you here, move you here. And move the other fuzz in here, into here. Oh, hold on. I think 
thing here. Keeps everything nice and organized for what I need. There we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So we need to make the spinner first. Oh, I burnt this, didn't I? Oh, well. Uh, we're full up on everything except for water. Water's starting to drip again. So, okay. Spinner is next. We need to figure out where to get clay. So let's head over. Is it, it? I imagine I have to find a red part of the yard, but I want to try right here. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Is that the pop mountains? So that's not clay. Hmm. Clay might have been over by the spiders. I saw an area that looked very flat and kind of brownish. Okay, there's a bunch of weevils stuck in the ground right there. So it might be over there. The closer to the pond I assume we are, or AKA the uh, koi fish pond, the more I assume that that's uh, where it is. Okay, so let's see what else we can build before we build that. We'll just have to make the rope inefficiently for now. Make it easier. Okay. So skip the spinner for now. Let's go straight for the container. We're going to need two of them, so we're going to need two clover leaves. Two, uh, and two crude ropes. So let's make the ropes now, since that's the inefficient part. We'll make three just to be, or four just to be safe. Um, okay, so now we need... Uh, clover leaf, one clover leaf. Is there one in my thing? No? Really? Oh wow. Okay, I have none. Uh, apparently I ran out. That's fine. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to make water container. So let's run all the way over here. We'll have to take the supplies over there. Oh, that's the juice. That was like a deck. So right where, hold on, where's the straw? Is that where it dripped out from? I don't feel like that's where it dripped out from. It's gonna be very hard to line up. Nick that right here. Hopefully. So let's go get three acorn shells and one clover leaf. It's getting night time, gotta hurry up. Retrieve. Hey, Mr. Ant. Oh. Oh, I 
Oh my god. Freak me out there, man. Can't remember how many I needed. Shoot, it's nighttime. Hold on. Let's just not take that chance. Dodge the bullet every time. I see water there. Let's go finish this. Standing in there looking straight up. Right there. Relocate. Right there. I'll make sure it's in the right spot. That looks kind of good. Alright, well, let's just hope that works. If it don't work, I'll move it. Hi, sir. How you doing? The juice does seem to give the best water. Now we gotta make another one. One for the camp. There were one for... Yeah, we should make one for the camp that I just bring water droplets to. Because I see three right there. So let's make another one. We'll put it right there. Oh, it tells you how full it is, too. That's cool. So, let's grab you. Deposit. Deposit. Oh, this thing can hold water, man. Okay. Dude, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was close. Hey, Finn. That one I'm gonna drive myself. <laughs> I might be able to get that one if I can get up on this grass leaf. Jumped over it. 
You can jump really high in this game to be fair. Oh, here we go. Alright, that should be full, right? I'm pretty sure that's full. Okay, so we have water now. In case of emergency, we need to eat before our food goes bad. Salt. Mmm, salt. Hello, oh, ladybug. Alright. Let's go collect more water drops for emergency for tomorrow. I do love the, even though when you're, there are spiders and crazy awesome, crazy things trying to kill you. Oh, I got it. Um, this game is so chill. Like, it's so much fun. It's so chill. Not as chill as something like Medieval Dynasty, who's meant to be kind of just a laid back on purpose experience. We we're just all about building a dynasty and stuff, but definitely got that that similar feel when you're not being attacked. We're having to worry about aggressive bugs. Okay. So we put my spear for now. Does anyone know where to get clay from for certain? Is there a way to prepare this? Oh, that's duplicate. Doesn't look like it. There's no sprigs in here, I just realized. Let's take the, uh... The mite fur. The mite fuzz. Let's take some of this stuff out and let this be mostly just plants. Be a little more smart about this. So, you need to go back in there. You need to go back in there. We need to create a sprig section. That way there's sprigs in there too. I have to keep most of the mite fuzz on me for now, but that's fine. Okay. That seems good. Let's see what else we can build for now. So we got water container up and running. Mix and blend things into a drinkable substance that restores health. Don't need that right now. Garden patch might be helpful, but... I think sap catcher next. Just so we we need that spinner though. Does anyone know where the clay is from for sure? Maybe I don't have to dig underwater. Hold on, let me try that. I doubt it, but that could be the case. Not what I needed. you? Yes! Found ya! Good, so my water source actually has is deep enough. Perfect. 
Give me the clay, beautiful. Now we can make our spinner and not have to use as much freaking plant fiber. We should go analyze this. All right, perfect. All right, analyze clay. So we can make vases, clay foundations, ramps. Ooh, a repair tool. That's how we... Ah, uh, that's how we repair our furniture. Gotcha. Boys. Cool. So, now let's worry about making that spinner. Let's put this clay in here so it has a, a, a storage to be in. Let's put it in there for now. Okay, um... We need the spinning wheel. It needs four clay, which we have, four ant parts. We need more rope. So the set of rope we need to make this, we're going to have to waste a lot of fiber to do it, but at least afterwards we won't use as much. Arm armor dummy? Outfit this fate boy with any combination of clothes. Right, this is a good way to store armor for someone else. I'll have to remember that. And vases. What do these do? That's all. It's just decoration, I guess. Adds a splash of uh, class to your own. Okay. I don't think those do anything. It'd be cool if they c could hold liquid, but. Or something. You can make the repair tool now, but we'll make that later. We don't really need that. That's not really quintessential to the issue right now, so. I will find more clay and make that. So that way we have the repair tool when we need it. Uh, I think what I'd rather have, though, is that spinner. Yep. Uh, spinner, spinner, spinner. Mmm. I kind of want it to look more organized and kind of cool, plus I want it to be near my storages so I can feed from it, so right there. Super bell. There we go. So now, yeah. Now it's a much, much more efficient way to make rope. Good. Good, good, good. We should clear out some of these grass stalks near us now. We haven't done that in a while. Might need to make another pallet, but that's fine. Yeah. I can carry so many of these at a time. How many can I deposit on this thing is the question now. That many. So that one's full. So we're going to have to build another one beside it. So let's copy you. Put it there. We need more rope. Which, thankfully, now...
It does take longer though. So that's the off drain. It, it may take less, but it also takes a lot longer for it to actually like use the wheel. So for right now, we'll clear out the grass and then we'll, uh, And we'll do the rest later. Let's. I want to clear out the stuff that's closest to my furniture stuff. Get rid of this. I say one more. Give a little breathing room to the side. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. I probably should just do some of it myself, just to make it faster. All right, well, let's get food and stuff again. Let's get some food and drink in us. Raw weasel meat. Just to dance. Ah, oh, I hate the throwing. I wish you had a crosshair. Like, this little dot does not help with crosshairs. Dance really are never going to like me ever. <laughs> Go this way and look for some water while we're doing that. Water is taken care of, or food is taken care of. We've already got fruit, three meat, so we're good. Oh. 
How we doing? We're up to two. A uh, half. Half is done. Okay. Uh. I should probably always be making rope in that thing, but for now, to make this quicker, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make the rope. Even though it uses more. Just so we can get this stuff off the ground before it gets nighttime. As you see, I'm using the same strategy I'm using in Medieval Dynasty. Eventually, all of this is going to build our house. We're going to build a, build a proper house out of all of this eventually. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll always make a full queue of that. So it's always making rope in the background. That's probably how we make silk. We probably need web. And then we have to put it on this. Like webbing from a spider, and then we probably have to put it on this to make the silk, is what I'm assuming. I'm assuming. <laughs> I think we're good. Oh, yeah, when you cook, 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 cook the food. Cook, 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 cook the food. Cook the food. Now I'm not many to wear sprigs. That's a lot of sprigs in there, but that's fine. I think that's where we might want to start wrapping it up here soon. Hold on. Since this was kind of... We were going to end up doing Far World Pioneers today. This was kind of more of an unexpected uh, stream today. But we got a lot done. We got our water container up and running. We've got a spinner for making better rope. And eventually silk. We've got an emergency container of water. Just in case bad things happen. I die somewhere. Have to respawn here and... All that. We need a, a food container that keeps food from going bad, but I don't think we can do that anytime soon. I forget. I think we need... I think there's ice in this game somewhere. And, like, something that's, like, a broke-down fridge or something. Or a cooler. I assume, from what I remember. Also, let me see if I can get clay one more time. Is this deep enough? Is that clay? It looks like clay. But I can't get deep enough to do that. It's not. So let's go back over to the one we have to submerge in. I think it's only ones you can dive into that have it. Does it respawn though is the question. Because if it don't, we're gonna have a pretty quick problem on our hands. Play-wise, I don't think he responds. Is that it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's pretty orange. So we're gonna have to wait. These are... I don't understand what these are. Are these air bubbles? Oh, do you know what those probably are for? I bet you I know what those are for. That's to teach me how to use that. That's probably for the uh, rebriever little thing we can make out of... Uh, that we can make out of... Uh, uh, the insect tubes. You probably run into one of those bubbles and it refreshes your oxygen. That's what I'm assuming. Almost there. 
We'll take all, regenerate it, reset the day, get some food and water, and we'll save it for tonight. I think everyone's starting to head out anyway. It's getting late. It seems uh, everyone's getting sleepy. Let's go check, see if this has anything in it. Does it? It looks like it. It might have worked. Yes, yeah, Slurp. Okay, yeah. So that's working. So our juice container is actually getting juice. So I put it in the right spot. I'm very happy about that, actually. All right. Wait for this to do its thing. Almost there. I guess while we wait, let's cut down at least one or two more stalks of grass over here. Because eventually this is where all the housing is going to go. I'm probably thinking about putting it here around these rocks. So we have big, big objects inside the house. So if the wolf spider destroys part of my house, I still have cover to kind of juke it. We'll still be able to juke him in an emergency. Did I just curse myself? What the hell was that noise? Oh, it's the crow. Dear God. I panicked. I panicked. Alright, let's get his... Let's go to morning. Can I see the milk carton from up here? It would also help me a lot to see the milk carton from up here and stuff. To, you know what this, these little tiny dudes need? A tiny drone to go in the air and fly above them and see what's going on. Oh, does sleeping do all of them? Oh, sleeping does all of them. That's actually kind of cool. So let's just make that and we'll save it as is. That way we're getting plenty of rope going. Uh, he's still there, so that's good. I still haven't seen the wolf spider, and it's been, I'm pretty sure, seven days already? Six days? I don't want to jinx myself. That's terrible to say out loud, because it's chances are, as soon as that happens, that's when he's going to show up, but... I didn't mean to do that. Don't even need to boil it. But... Luckily, by the way, the, um, the crow can't eat us. I feel like that's a good, a good thing in this game, that the crow doesn't see us as an insect and doesn't just gobble us up, because I feel like that would kill us the fastest. Like, that would be something that would just end us instantly. There'd be no surviving, now I can't get to that one. I have a way of getting away from him if we hide in here, but we're going to have to fight him if we do that because I don't think he goes away as long as he can see you. The best thing I can do is try to get in a corner and try to get the AI to disengage if the emergency happens and try to get him and just wait it out till he leaves. So. Alright. I think... 
all we really need to do for now. Oh, hold on. Let me grab no. this one regal. Yeah, because we've got meat. Let's cook it and then save it. Because, yeah, two of these are going to go bad. Because I got them yesterday. They'll last about a day to get down to about half. And uh, you can then you can cook them and refresh them and just eat them then. Sir, you have volunteered for death. That never works. Are right, you want to die in his stead? Freaking ants, man. Get out of my territory. Get off my lawn! <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. Let us save it. We're doing quite well. I think for me not having played this much. I think I'm doing quite well, like, at this, at this point in the game. Like, I'm quite impressed that I've made it this far without dying immediately. Like, I'm surprised we haven't been jumped by a random spider yet. We've been pretty good about kind of avoiding their paths until absolutely necessary. Which next episode, that is going to be a thing. I gotta warn everyone. I think next episode is when I'm going to... I'll decide between one of two things I'm going to try next episode. Next episode, we either kill... It depends on what I need more. I feel like the tree is just my, my go-to of what I need right now. Like, there's probably more clay over there. There's probably... There's definitely more acorns. There's probably more, uh... There's the, um... The bombardier beetle I need for the drying rack. That's... So we either go that way... Or, uh, out of curiosity, what we'll do... We'll make a bunch of spears and kill the stink bug. Make us a, uh... Come on, quit. Make us a, uh... A gas mask and then we'll try out the poison area we'll see what's ins hiding inside the poison area because I haven't really actually explored much of this game we didn't make it that far last time I played it I think the furthest I made it last time was to the tree but we didn't get anything from the tree I just died by a spider and screamed and ran <laughs> um, because I freaked out and it caught me off guard if I know it's coming it's not as bad my arachnophobia is not as bad. I have very mild levels of it. Mostly because of my disability. Like, I'm not totally against spiders. I do think they're cool to a certain extent. But, you know. Being when you're in a wheelchair and can't fend off an, an arachnid, the arachnids are freaky. Any bug is technically freaky, but, you know. But Tam King said, GG or not, have a good one. You too, Tam King. I hope everyone's been enjoying Grounded. I really am glad to be back in this game. I'm really loving it. I'm having a lot of fun exploring and finding new things and slowly building up our little base. We do need to build some sort of actual shelter soon. Just in case. I've been testing my luck with that wolf spider pretty heavily not having a house to hide in. Because I think as long as he don't see you, he I don't think he'll automatically destroy your stuff. So. As long as we don't get noticed, we should be fine. But we are testing our luck not having a shelter, and so far so good he has not just come strolling in in the morning hours. That's why I don't stay out at night. <laughs> Because that's when I think the greatest chance of him strolling into the territory where the box is, or the little device is, is the greatest. During the day, it's pretty low, it seems. So, either that or they moved him, and I don't, and I don't know. Because this game got a lot of updates since I played. I played when this game kind of was near its earlier stages. So, they could have moved him. Maybe they thought that was a little too harsh on the player. That they just randomly get visited by one of the stronger spiders in the game. Um. At random. So. 
Maybe they thought that was a little too stressful and a little too insane. So maybe they dialed it back and moved him to another area that he roams through that's nearby. Don't know yet. Maybe it's the poison area. Maybe it's closer to the, the closer to the tree than we were. Don't know yet. Maybe he's still there and it just we've gotten stupid lucky. I guess we'll see. I know the tree spider, whatever that one's called, the one that's inside the the tree itself, the one we avoided that sits still, that's the other stronger spider. That one is actually stronger than the ones roaming around outside besides the wolf spider. So, that one's not going to be fun to fight. But there is a lot of good stuff inside that tree trunk, I'm pretty sure. So at some point, that's going to be our first major boss battle. So. But, big shout out to Chronic Gaming for all the advice he was giving. Thank you so much, Chronic Gaming, for giving some advice. And helping me out trying to find things and locations of bombardier beetles and things like that. We'll, we'll also try to go looking for that next episode if we decide to go more spider oriented and less towards the stink bug and the poison area. Not really sure yet. I'll, I'll, fi I'll see what tickles the fancy or if I want to scare the bejesus out of myself fighting my worst fear in the next episode. You'll know by the title. So that way people, and I'll give an arachnophobia warning. I should have given one for this episode because I didn't expect to see so many. I thought maybe we could see accidentally one but kind of avoid it, seeing it too, too hard. Nope. <laughs> we saw two of them and one of them I think slightly noticed me but I managed to get out of its detection range. <laughs> but next episode, if we do go that way, I will. it will be in it. Uh, the next title. I'm gonna go ahead and write that title down. Both of those titles down. So that way I have it ready to go. But. Hope y'all enjoyed. Big shout out to Farseer, my moderator as well. Make sure we have plenty of bug spray ready to go when the when this crazy journey ends. <laughs> um, and big shout out to Tam King as well. Show some love to his channel. Check out his stuff as well. He's been doing some train sim lately. And also, big shout out to Mad Lad James since he sadly couldn't stream today because of his internet. Since his internet kind of conked out on him today, he would have joined us for some Far World Pioneers. Um, showing off that game some more. Um, so big shout out to him. Show him some love as well. And tomorrow we will be doing Far World Pioneers with James as long as his internet is willing tomorrow after I get back from therapy. Once I get back from physical therapy, we'll do that. The day after that, Probably more medieval dynasty. Start getting our uh, beginnings of our village up and running like a well. Do some side quests for the other villagers. Get our renown up. Stuff like that. Complete a little bit more of the story. But I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining tonight. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye. See you next time. Bye.